I just wanted to make a video to try to simplify the invoking and banishing pentagrams uh, with a bit of a visual cue and a little bit of explanation. So the invoking and banishing pentagrams come from the ceremonial traditions uh, to bring in uh, an elemental force into the circle, into the working. So in the witchcraft traditions, we wouldn't really call this invoking, we would call it evoking, because we are not calling it into our bodies. However, the ceremonial traditions view the circle as an extension of their body. So when they call something into the circle, they're invoking it. So as you can see, each point of the pentagram has an element association, um, which I tried to use a little bit of visual cues here. So we have a feather for air, we have a shell for water, we have a candle for fire, and we have a stone for earth. And at the top here is spirit. So <clears throat> when we want to invoke an element, um, use an invoking pentagram, we want to start from one of the highest points possible that connect to the element. So for example, if we want to invoke earth, we start at spirit since it's the highest point that can connect to the element, come down, draw the pentagram, and finish where you start. You always want to finish where you start. So however, if you were to invoke air, for example, the highest point is spirit, but it doesn't connect directly. So the closest highest point that does is water. So you would come from water to air and finish. Now, to dismiss an element, you want to go in the reverse direction that you invoked it. So for example, if we want to banish earth, we start at the earth point and move it up to spirit. We're pushing it up and away as opposed to bringing it in, down and in. So the earth invoking pentagram goes like this, down to earth and back. The fire invoking pentagram starts at the highest point that can connect, down to fire and back. The air invoking pentagram, highest point that can connect, and back. And the water invoking pentagram starts at air because it's the highest point that can connect and finishes back up. So to banish them, like I said, the reverse direction. So to banish earth, we go from earth back up to spirit, finish at earth. For fire, we start at fire, move it up to spirit, and back. For water, we want to start at water and back. And for air and back. So another thing that some traditions do, and I like to do this, um, but it is not completely universal, is I like to make my pentagrams into a pentacle. So adding that circle to it. So with invoking pentagrams, uh, you want to go Jessel. So you want to, let's say, invoke Earth, come back to the point that we started, go Jessel, which is clockwise, and finish. Now, if we were to be banishing that element, we would start at Earth, come back up, finish, and then we would go Wittershins, which is counterclockwise.